My name is Dave Delotel of Delotel Farms. I'm the fifth generation on this farm. My dad and I farm here in north central Illinois, about 3,500 acres of corn and soybeans. We started strip tilling in 2009 with a shank type machine and early on we encountered several problems with that machine such as breakage and bringing up rocks. That's one of the two biggest things that really attracted us to the Soil Warrior is it looked to us like a very very robust machine that we wouldn't have to work on all the time and it does not have a shank so it won't bring up any rocks or anything like that. I'm Ryan Grahalski from Contra, Michigan, and I farm about 1,800 acres with my father. We grow corn, soybeans, um, we've done some seed corn in the past. The reason that we originally looked at the ETS strip tiller, the Soil Warrior, was because of the rocky soil we have and the discs that are on the machine wouldn't pull up as many. We also found, now that we own it, the availability to do double rates of two different products and variable rate those across the field is very, very beneficial. I'm Ryan Shaw I'm from Marlette, Michigan. I work for SKS Farms, 1,600 acres. We purchased this Soil Warrior tool last fall. We variable rate applied our potash and our mez last fall and then we came in this spring and applied our ESN for our nitrogen. Our two passes combined was all that we had to do. This machine has replaced almost every tool on the farm for tillage. There's just three of us that work on the farm so we don't need a whole bunch of extra help or extra tools or sheds to store everything in. One of the first things that we noticed right off the bat is the amount of fuel that we saved using the Soil Warrior over the conventional tillage system that we were in before. With the two-pass system of the Soil Warrior with the spring pass with the deep cogs and coming back and reconditioning the strip in the spring, we're burning about 1.4 to 1.6 gallons per acre compared to in the fall before we were burning about two, two and a half gallons an acre just with the disc ripper. One of the reasons we looked into the Soil Warrior was because like as you can see here with conventional tillage, um, we've brought a lot of rocks up uh, to the surface and now we have to deal with them, which would mean we'd have to come in with another person to pick the stones and haul them out of the field. Whereas over here a little farther where we've ran the Soil Warrior, the rocks tend to stay in the ground a lot better so we don't have to deal with them. With this machine, with the technology that's in it, I have an amazing amount of data that I can collect to diagnose the actual difference between my conventional and the way this machine works now. It has saved a lot of fuel just how many times I've had to fill it up per acre. It variable rates all my inputs to a two and a half acre grid. We've always had very, very good luck with the Soil Warrior service. Whenever we've needed parts, they've always been able to overnight them or if we needed something in a pinch, they had absolutely no problem at all meeting us halfway. One other option that we liked about this Soil Warrior was it has the capability of independently steering the Soil Warrior implement itself separate from the tractor. It also is a very speedy uh, application. You can run up to eight miles an hour with it if you're in good situations and cover a lot of acres. So that really helps out in a wet spring. Our first year using the Soil Warrior, we were on their rent to own program in which we could rent the machine for an entire season before we decide if we wanted to buy it or not. And the thing that really attracted us to their leasing program is the rental payment actually counted for the very first lease payment on the machine. So that worked out very well for us. It's very well engineered. It is easy to work on and the technology is more than you could ask for.